So it's come to our attention that some uh, Cricut users are having problems with their older Cricut devices um, after purchasing or upgrading to Windows 11. Now I've seen some videos, uh, my wife has seen some videos where some people are not having a problem. However, it looks like the vast majority are. Um, and so now you're frustrated because it worked under, under Windows 10. Um, you can hook it if you bought a new laptop you can hook the Cricut up to your Windows 10 and it works just fine. It just work on Windows 11. Or if you upgraded from Windows 10 to Windows 11, it's not working. So we found a solution. This is what I did for my wife. Um, and this will be available for you also. So on the website here, you see dejubi.com slash YCG. Um, it says Cricut users. Click here. Now this page is not completely developed out. Um, so kind of remember that when you're going through here so the page will open up it'll kind of be here this video is going to go here so you can continue uh, watching it so if you think this is read the instructions there if you think this is going to be more complex than what you can handle and you want us to install this for you we'll be glad to do that for you you know it's a $60 fee for us to do remote assistance $30 if you're a VIP member so just to remember. So if you want us to do that, go ahead and click that remote assistance program, uh, download it, install it, and then you can message us through the app to schedule a time or give us a call. Phone number is on the screen and we'll schedule a time to do the remote and finish it up the rest of the way for you. Um, but yeah, it's going to be well worth it. Now, all of the software that I'm providing in this is free. Um, VMware is free for personal use. Windows 10 uh, in the virtual machine is not activated, therefore it's free to use. Um, your Cricut software is a part of your account, so that's just how it's going to work. So anyways, um, like I said, if you want us to do it for you, click on that remote assistance, install the, the appropriate remote assistance program. As you can see, I kind of did it there to show you what it will look like on your, and this is Google Chrome, Firefox, and Edge have it a little bit differently. But that's how it works. So the next thing, before we even begin to even consider downloading this, we need to look to see if you have the necessary hardware. This is important because a lot of these new laptops that are coming out that are for sale, that are dirt cheap, don't have enough of the information. So let me show you how this works. So let me find my mouse here. There it is. You're going to go click on your Windows 11 Start button. You're going to go up here and you're going to type in System information see how it's right there you're going to click that this is what i want you to look at i want you to look at your processor if you have four or quad cores you're good so far if you have eight gigs or more you're good so far and then under let me find it here i think it's under components storage click it open the rest of the way drives if you have 128 gigabytes or more, this will work. Now, the problem is it's going to burn up a lot of your storage. So the bigger your storage, the better. In my case, I've got 87.95% free. I say 90 because it's going to fluctuate a little bit here and there with updates and, and stuff like that. That's why you need that space. Uh, we can recover some of that space after we have all the software installed. You can delete the downloads from me and that will give you back some more space. But you need these requirements. Uh, you need at least four cores because the virtual machine is going to take two. You need at least eight gigs because the virtual machine is going to take four. And you need at least 90 gigabytes of free space. We can recover some of that when we're done. If you have all that stuff, here's what you could do then. You can close this window. You can go here and download VMware Player 16. This is the free version, as long as you're using it for personal use. So you click that and download. This doesn't take too long, and it's really going to depend on your internet speed. Um, our internet speed here is 600 down, but only 40 up. So I can only push it to for you 40 gigabytes at 40 gigabits at a time. Um, so if there's like a hundred of you on the web server at the same time, it's going to be incredibly slow. I'm sorry. Um, so the, the virtual player is not too difficult to do. Once it's downloaded, you're going to go here and click, da, 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 open it. You're going to open it and install it using the defaults 
So if it pops up and says, do you wish to join the community and that, 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 you can uncheck those, but just leave the defaults in there because the programming to the virtual machine is actually in the next step. Now, I want you to note, if you have a data cap, if you have limited internet speed, if you have, you know, if you're trying to do this on a cell phone, this is not going to work. But this next one is the actual virtual machine itself. The first one is the player. This is the actual virtual machine. If you're looking at that number and you see 21 million kilobytes, yes, that's 21 gigs compressed. Uh, when you open it up, it's at least 60. So when you go to download this, you may have to download this multiple times because there might be too many people on the web server at the same time. You have to continue it. Or if you have a data cap and your data cap is like one gig, you really don't want to do this because you're going to burn through your data. We have the option, if you really need us to, reach out to us. We'll put it on a flash drive and mail it to you if we, if have to be. So just, you know, that I got to charge you for, though. That's mailing in the cost of the flash drive. So... But yeah, go ahead and download this. This is going to take you anywhere between 30 minutes and three hours, depending upon how many people are on the web server and how fast your internet speed is. But for me, because I'm doing it locally, you'll see it says down here, roughly 20 minutes. Um, and I'm going to cancel that because I will burn out my hard drive space um, on the virtual machine because I'm using a virtual machine. So yeah. Uh, you're going to download that and it's going to go into your downloads folder unless you have it going somewhere else. That's where it's going to go. So, like I said, you've probably already installed the, the virtual player 16 by double clicking it from the downloads folder. We've already talked about that. Once you have the Windows 10 downloaded, it's actually going to kind of look like this. I'm going to have to stop the, the recording here so I can show you. So anyways, when you get your all three downloads done, um, you'll see the Night 19 Viewer installer. Hopefully you've already done that. If not, it's okay. You've probably already installed this by using the default parameters that are in there. You'll have a nice new little icon on your desktop. It's like a, a, an arrow pointing li uh, up, an arrow pointing to the right, an arrow in the matter, and it actually will say uh, VMware player. Uh, so that's fine. The other way, is your virtual 10. Now, what I want you to do with your virtual 10, you see it's got a zipper on it. That means it's compressed. You need to uncompress that. So what you do is right click, extract all. We re repeat that. Right click, extract all. It's going to come up like this. It's going to make a subfolder Windows 10 in your downloads folder. Remember that you will need that later. So you're going to extract all. This will take a few minutes because this is an entire full blown computer in virtual format. So this will take a while to load and we'll go from there. Let this go through. It says about five minutes. So this is going to, um, like I said, extract the operating system, the, the virtual hard drives, the virtual RAM, the virtual processors. This is why we had to go look at your systems to make sure you had two available processors, four gigs of RAM, and enough hard drive space to do this because this is a little retense intensive, but it's, you know, it, it's what you need. But once you've done this a couple of times, you won't have to install it again once we get it installed. But once you've used a virtual machine a couple of times with your crickets and other things, you'll wonder why you've never done this before. Um, because it's, it's simply a computer inside of a computer, kind of like the old days of picture in picture. If you had the older TVs, it's absolutely amazing. So like I said, these are the parameters here. Like I said, and if you want to order this on a stick so you have it, just reach out to us. Let us know. This will probably be about $15. Um, you know, the, the flash drive is 10 plus the mailing cost might be 13. I don't know. Um, but yeah, just just let us know and we'll send off some paperwork for you to um, give us your address and how to pay for it. And then we'll drop it in the mail for you. So, um, and it wouldn't be a bad idea to have a hard copy of this because things change. Um, this way, if you ever had to reinstall this because it got damaged or corrupted, or you're moving to a different computer, you'll have it on flash drive. You won't have to download it again. So 
Anyways, like I said, we'll let this extract here. It's going to take a while, so I'm going to just pause the video real quick. All right, so it's almost done extracting. You see I've opened up Team View or Team Viewer. Opened VMware already, uh, Workstation Player 16. Um, remember, this is free to use for non-commercial use. There's a nice little notice at the bottom there. If you are doing this professionally, using a Cricut to make money, go buy the license. It's 150 bucks. Um, this way it keeps you in compliance. Um, but if you are, you know, not using, if you're just using it for personal use, you know, stuff to decorate your house or whatever, that's fine. So anyways, once we get here, this will pop up and show you Windows 10. What you're going to do now, in my case, I've got all of these other ones that I use. So in this case, you, yeah, don't want to do that. And, and that's why I'm using the non-commercial so you see it. So what you want to do is you're going to open a virtual machine. And it's going to bring up this dialog box. You're going to go to your downloads folder. You're going to go to Windows 10 and Windows 10. And there's Windows 10 there. That's going to pop it into your list. Uh, it should be the only one on your computer. In my case, I've got multiples because I use a variety of uh, tools. But what you're going to do then is play virtual machine. It's going to ask you, did you move it or copy? You're going to click move. Uh, if you click copy, then it gets into a whole bunch of, do you have permission to do this, da, 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 da. Just move it because it is an unlicensed version of Windows 10. Um, it's the free version, basically. And so that's what it is. So you'll see this is actually very, very small. I do have the resolution set to the lowest setting uh, simply because I don't know what type of resolution your device has. Uh, some of the laptops have 1366 by 720. Some of them have full HD capabilities. So this is why it's set to as small as it is. But there it is. There's Windows 10. Now, the nice thing about this is you can actually full screen it. But if when you full screen it, there you go. Um, so, yeah, there is another step that needs to go in here. Uh, let me show you this. Once you install it for the first time or get it activated, you will want to go into player and you'll want to do manage uh, and then it'll stay install VM tools. You will want to do that first. Uh, install the VM tools. This way you can allow it to take full screen and so on and so forth. Uh, it'll work better with your, your mice and your keyboards because what is happening is it's a program and it has got to translate that click to the virtual machine to where you're clicking at. Install the VM tools. Uh, it just makes it a whole lot easier. When you install it, it'll go through. It'll shows up, it shows up as a, uh, as a disc, I believe, a CD. Let's take a look. Yeah, it shows up. It'll show up as uh, a DVD drive. Just uh, install 64-bit, let it go through. It'll reboot, and then you're ready to go. Once it boots back up, you can then install the Cricut software. Um, once you get the Cricut software installed, I can't show you this because I'm using my computer. But you take your Cricut device and you turn it on. And when you turn it on, it's going to pop up a bubble going to detect the device you're going to click on connect to guest virtual windows 10 and then click ok and then you will see the bubbles pop up in the lower right hand corner where it's installing your device and it's connecting your mouse and it's making sure your keyboard is working just like any other time you plug in a usb device it'll show you those connections are going through um, once they're there you should be able to just open up the cricket software uh, go into, I think it's uh, Cricut Design Space, um, and do what you normally do. And when you go to print, it will send it directly to the USB Cricut device that you have connected. It's it's fascinating. My wife did a whole print off um, yesterday um, just to test it to make sure. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it in the nutshell. Now, when you go to shut this down, please don't close it with the X up here. Don't do that because that will screw it up and then you have to go through this whole process again. Do it like you do a normal computer. Go down here to your start button and click power. And my face is in the way, but that's okay. But when you click power, 
you'll see shut down. My mug is in the way. You can't see it, but you'll click shut down. If that does not work for you, because sometimes I do see this, I want you to go up here and drop this toolbar down. See this three dots here? It says send control alt delete. You'll send that. You'll come back to this screen. Um, and you may have seen me do this before or shown other people to do this. There's a power button down here and you can shut down that way too. So yeah, um, I'm sure I'll do more extensive videos on this uh, as time goes on. But if you need remote assistance on how to do this, you don't feel comfortable doing it yourself. Like I said, we could do that for you. Um, just, you know, install the remote assistance program. We will get you hooked up. Um, and we'll test, help you test your device, at least make sure it's communicating properly. Um, and then you should be good to go. And it will work on your Windows 11 computer using a virtual Windows 10 machine. So anyways, I know this is a little bit longer than I normally put out. This is going on, well, I don't know. This is the third recording and, and it says five minutes. So once I stitch them all together, it might be a while. But that's how you can do that. Um, and this video will be tacked onto that website um, so you can listen as we're going along. And as you know, I do free form. I don't do a script. So if you need help, give us a call, send us a message. We'll be glad to help you guys. Have a great day. I'll talk to you later. I hope this helps you out like share, subscribe and all that stuff. Bye-bye.